Hello engineers, in this tutorial we will learn how to draw a basic sketch and extrude it into a 3D model. We will use a number of sketch tools to do this. First, let's make sure that we are working in millimeters. So on the home screen, we go to the configure default templates. Just make sure we have millimeters selected. So I'll press cancel there as I'm already working in millimeters. And then let's select the new part. And here we need to open the model browser. So I will select the plus icon here to show the model browser. So here we can see an entire history behind this part and we can edit anything that we need to in the future. First, we'll start a 2D sketch. So we'll select that up here. And then we have the option to draw on three planes. So let's choose the XY plane, which is this one highlighted in green here. And now we are in the sketch tab. So under the create panel, we will select the circle tool and we will begin our circle on the origin, which is the yellow dot you can see just in the center of the screen here. As we move the cursor over this, you will see it then becomes a green circle indicating that we are drawing starting at the origin. So we left click once and move the mouse to expand the circle. We will then input on our keyboards a diameter of 40 millimeters and press enter. Then I will zoom out using my middle mouse button. And notice that we are still in the circle tool as it's highlighted in blue. So we can continue to draw circles. Again, let's select the origin just here. Draw another circle. And let's input a diameter of 70 millimeters and press enter. I'll zoom out again using the middle mouse button. And now we have finished using the circle tool. We can press escape to get out of that. We want to draw a line so we can select the line tool just here, or we can press L on our keyboards as a shortcut. Let's start the line at the left quadrant of the outer circle. So if we move our mouse cursor towards the left quadrant, you can see it there in a yellow dot. We can snap onto it like so. We can see the dashed yellow line indicating we are at the quadrant of the circle. Left click there once and move the mouse down until the line is vertical as indicated by this constraint symbol just here. And then we will input a dimension of 60 millimeters and press enter on the keyboard. Then again, we'll move the mouse to the right hand side. So we're still in the line tool here. Wait until it's horizontal as shown by the horizontal symbol just here. We'll input a dimension of 70 millimeters just here. Press enter. And then to finish off, we will snap this line to the right quadrant of the outer circle. So if we move the mouse cursor, we will snap to the right quadrant like so and press the left mouse button. And now we have finished for the line tool. So we can press escape on the keyboard to exit that tool. We want to trim this half of the circle here. We do not need this half of the circle. So up on the modify panel, we can select the trim tool and we can move down. And if we move the mouse cursor over that circle, we can see it's now dashed green line. So if we left click once, that half of the circle has now been trimmed. So we are just left with the outer half. Let's draw one more piece of geometry by selecting the rectangle tool just here. That's a two point rectangle. And let's left click anywhere within this profile. So for example, here, draw out the rectangle. And then again, we can left click anywhere. Now we have drawn our rectangle, we can press escape on the keyboard, we can select the dimension tool just up here, which is the shortcut D on the keyboard. Let's select the length of the rectangle and input a dimension of 50 millimeters, press enter. And then let's select the height and input a dimension of 15 millimeters, press enter. And then let's select a dimension from the bottom line of the rectangle to the bottom line of our original drawing just here. Enter 15 millimeters there. And again, from the side, we'll enter a dimension there of 10 millimeters, press enter. And then we can exit the line tool. And now we have drawn a very basic 2D sketch there. So we've used the circle tools using the line tool, the rectangle tool, and we've used the trim modify tool. Now we are ready to make this a 3D model. So let's go onto the 3D model tab and select extrude. Here we have a dialog box pop up 
where we need to select the profile we wish to extrude. So we have this profile highlighted in green, this one here, and this one here. So we want to select this profile highlighted in green here. So we left click once. The from, so this is from the sketch plane. So this is from the XY plane. That's where we will be extruding from. So that is correct. We can also decide here the direction. So the default direction, we can flip that or we can make that a symmetric dimension. So that will be five millimeters in either direction, or we can make it a asymmetric extrusion where we can say, let's say 25 millimeters in this direction and a 10 millimeters in that direction. For this tutorial, let's go with the default direction. Let's input a distance of 15 millimeters and click OK. And there we have a very basic 3D model. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will reply as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next tutorial.